Today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're gonna be testing out some cool tools from Toro on Tool Tuesday, and we're gonna get rained out in a hurry. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Afraid of life, times like this. If you can mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. I said, if you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. Folks, this is the backpack blower that I couldn't figure out how to use yesterday. I slept on it and <laughs> it works. It just clips in right here. Totally botched that one. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. Honey! <laughs> hey folks, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I'm Josh and you are on our first generation farm here on Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. All around us is a 150 acre first generation farm and part of what we do is using tools. So today we're going to be testing out on Tool Tuesday the Toro Revolution backpack system here. So this is, has a tether that tethers to this backpack. It's going to basically take me from zero to hero or zero to Toro Ghostbuster. What we have here is the Toro Revolution series right here. And Revolution means electric in the Toro world. Toro is a huge sponsor of the channel here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This is not a sponsored review. In other words, they're not paying me to give you a good review. I'm gonna give you the down and dirty on this critter. And this is pretty much a pro landscaper type piece of equipment. So if you're the guy on the block that wants to have the baddest tool, this is the baddest tool so we're learning now more than ever that battery and motor technology is getting better and better and better every year every season and we're getting better and more efficient battery packs so this takes two of these Toro battery packs and this is one of the bigger ones this is a 60 volt 6.0 amp hour 324 watt battery this thing is a monster it was put into service on 1021 every piece of equipment that i get on the farm guys make a habit of it when you buy something write the date on it it's important to know how long something's been in service and you'll never remember all of your tools so we pop off the two latches right here and on this side is our backpack we'll wear it here in just a second this opens up it is tethered so that you don't lose it with a heavy duty tether so we can drop that guy back into here in the back here we have a release we press that release, here is our battery pack. This is a 60 volt, 10 amp hour. So it's even bigger than the six amp hour. It is an absolute monster, which makes this really heavy on your back, like a backpack blower, like something with a motor. Now you can substitute any of your other old school Toro batteries that you have that go with different pieces of equipment. This matches up with every Toro battery that's out there, I do believe in the, uh, Flex Force LS40. Oh, yeah, and the Flex Force combo. Uh, so we'll drop this guy in, just like so. Um, how do we turn it on? Honestly, I don't know how we turn it on, but we're going to find out. I think maybe all we do is just pull the trigger on the, uh, on the accoutrements that we're gonna attach to this. So the first thing that I need to attach, the first thing I really wanna try is this this is the hedge trimmer toro hedge trimmer right here i want to try this out because i've got some bushes that are getting completely out of control the way this works is there is a tether cord that tethers right here to the side of the backpack so this tethers to the backpack just like so right there it releases by pushing a button right there awesome and this tethers to whatever piece of equipment that you're gonna use. So we're gonna be using, to start with, our Revolution brushless hedge clippers. So we give a squeeze. And I think we're ready for some hedge clipping. <laughs> Pretty cool. So before we go out and do that, let me disconnect, show you how quick and easy it is to disconnect. Pop that off. We're gonna change tools. We're gonna go to 
The string trimmer. This is the string trimmer right here. So in other words, you can carry your battery packs with you. You have dual battery packs with a lot of kick to them. So you're not out there refilling your batteries. And we have a huge battery charger. You'll see that here in just a second going across the screen that charges, I think, six batteries. This is the string trimmer. We'll drop this guy onto the string trimmer, smack it into place. We also have a battery indicator right here. So you don't have to open it up to check your battery. And we're showing full battery. Let's give this a little squeeze. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I did put the handle on upside down and I do like the fact that the handle is adjustable because I am six foot five. And I'll tell you guys, it is a struggle to weed wax sometimes when you're this tall and you have to bend over for an hour or two hours on the farm here. So, all right, let's untether that real quick. This is again, the string trimmer. Pop that guy loose. Let's just see how tough they are. Oh, send it. <laughs> and the next thing that we have is the leaf blower setup right here, guys. This is a pretty cool little leaf blower setup. You have battery indicator right here on the leaf blower setup. I did have a little trouble pairing up the leaf blower and I'm not too sure. I slept on it and I figured it out. It just slides right into here, locks into place just like so, and turns this backpack into the backpack blower that it should be. <laughs> that leaf blower will have to live to play another day. We do have the Flex Force standard leaf blower and let's see if it'll attach to that. Yeah, baby. Right on. Yep, so it will attach to the standard leaf blower, so we'll get to do some leaf blowing. This thing doesn't sound like that when it just has the little battery. Let's try it again. Okay, that's with the dual batteries. This is with standard battery. A little more kick, I'm gonna say, with the backpack, for sure. Awesome, awesome stuff. Now, also, what you need to know is you don't have to have the tether. So in other words, you can just slap on a regular battery, just like so, you don't need the tether. So if you got a crew out there working and one guy needs to do the hedge clipping and the other guy needs to be on the leaf blower or the weed whacker, you can send them out, send different guys on different tasks. This does adjust all the way around. It rotates, so you can clip your hedges like this, or you can rotate and clip like that. We'll see that in action in just a second. That's the first thing we're gonna use. We're gonna make a mess in the yard, and I'll come back with this little trailer, and I'll pick all my mess up here in just a little bit. So, without further ado, let's just see First and foremost, how comfortable this thing is. It's time for Ghostbusters. Let's see what Ghostbusters has for us. <laughs> oh, okay. Tether goes on the right side. It's about, my guess is about 30 pounds, 25 to 30 pounds. What do I notice right out the gate? What's the first thing I notice? This padding is thick really thick. So I do a lot of backpacking, like days and days in the woods backpacking. This really feels good. It feels like uh, an ergonomic backpack that's meant for long haul hiking, which it will be long haul hiking. So we have a lap belt that goes across the belly or a belly belt. This might not be too flattering. <laughs> okay. And then we have a belt right across here that goes right across the middle. I guess, so you don't lose your tether. I saw something on here. Maybe I'm crazy. I saw a little hook on here, some sort. Hmm, I don't know. But you've got a handle for your tether. So we'll go ahead and we'll clip in our hedge clipper. Just like so. Hedge clipper doesn't work unless you have the safety disengaged. Just like that. Oh, learning curve here. High and low. Low. High. And reverse. 
That must be reverse in case you get it stuck because these things are famous for getting pinched. These little blades will get pinched and boy, they are sharp. Don't stick your finger in there <laughs> like I did. All right, let's go over here and get busy on these bushes. So as you can see, they're not very pretty right now and they're gonna be taken down pretty small. You will see Japanese beetles come flying out of here. There's a lot of them in there. Let's give her a shot here. We're gonna just put it in high, safety glasses on. Oh yeah. Yep, you don't have a pair of head clippers, you ain't living right. <laughs> Something that I get out and do about every two years. Yeah, it turned out great. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead, these are out of control too. We'll go ahead and get these. The bad thing about hedge clippers is once you get started, you kind of just wanna keep cutting, cutting, cutting. We'll rotate. Yeah. Really happy with that. Guys, you don't have to hire a pro landscaper to get pro results here. Just get the right gear. I'm just gonna go to it on these two bushes right here. And they're getting out of control, man. Way out of control. I don't think I've ever trimmed these. It's hot, but that did a great job, guys. You see how big that was? It was this big. It was like six feet tall five minutes ago. Super cool. We got one more we got to trim right over here. Let's take you over to the next biggest bush. So this is a boxwood, and what I did, I planted this boxwood just so that I would keep tractor trailers from rounding this corner too sharp. Believe it or not, there's a truck on the other side. <laughs> this one's way overgrown. I think we're gonna go all the way across the top, flat, and we're gonna try and square this one off. Okay, kinda squared off. Very happy, guys, wow. Uh, let me unplug this real quick and we'll take you around and show you. Hedge Clippers did an awesome job. So this is <laughs> not the finished product. I've still got to come back in, maybe a little touch up. I'd like, this is three bushes, one, two, three, and I'd like for it to all kind of morph as one bush. So eventually it'll all come together as one hedge right here. But I think it turned out great compared to what it was, man. Holy cow, can't complain there. So let's grab the weed whacker and get around the garden real quick. Hedge clipper, awesome. I think that thing's gonna be really handy down by the creek. We'll go ahead and grab the string trimmer and our tether, flip that down. 
tether in place. Flip that back. Oh, okay, that's for sitting it down. Battery power, still full power. Awesome. Sounds mean, don't it? Let's go down here and we're gonna weed whack around the garden real quick. Dude, this thing has been running for a long time, and let's see how much power we got left. We are still at full power, and I've been running this for nearly an hour. Wide open, as hard as I can run it. That looks a lot better. <laughs> I need to address some of these ripe tomatoes, and I need to clean up this garden a little bit. Look at this. Guys, we're gonna have tomatoes running out our ears, but man, what a good job. So passes the test for the string trimmer, passes the test for the awesome hedge clippers. Again, hedge clippers are something I probably use <laughs> twice a year, maybe, something like that. But when you need them, you need them. Uh, let's just pop this guy out real quick. Now the big question is, will it run the Toro chainsaw? Stick around to the end. We'll see if it'll run the Toro chainsaw. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go over and blow off the batwing bush hog on the back of the big TYM tractor. But first, let's see if it'll blow out the flower beds I just cleaned up. Yeah. It'll blow them up into a pile where I can ah, pick them up and Chuck them out of here. Okay, this grass is wet. Uh, it rained about an inch last night, so we got a little wet grass on here. I'm blowing it off in a spot where there's a little bare land. This has a trigger that you pull and a turbo button. Check it out. And cruise control. Awesome. That is really good to know that every battery powered piece, we're gonna go up and get the chainsaw next and see if it'll run the chainsaw. If this thing will run the chainsaw, that just basically gives me an unlimited chainsaw use. I'll just have to run the chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> until I need bar oil. Let's see here, how much battery? Okay, we used one bar of battery. I'll tell you that blower really takes a lot of energy. This is a game changer in the battery powered tool sector. I have not seen a battery powered setup like this that would last this long. Typically, I would have probably changed batteries two or three times at this point, and I haven't had to change batteries at all. Man, look, those hedges look great. Nice, huh? Totally forgot. Chainsaw and pole saw. So let's throw the backpack back on. Tether, we're gonna get wet, it's gonna start raining. Tether, 
to the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, tether to the pole saw. Game changer, guys. Serious game changer. Okay. Let's take that scabbard off. There we go. Pole saw. Totally works. <laughs> guys, what a game changer. It is raining. Now, I didn't ask for this, but the cows will appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we've been working with. Before it gets too messy, the Toro Revolution Backpack. Guys, thanks for watching Tool Tuesday today. Now you know what it's all about. I'll post a link down in the video description. I gotta get out of here. It's raining. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! And this has two blowers in it. It doesn't have two blowers in it. Come on, buddy. Oh. For those of you who are wondering about the sweat ring on the hat. Ah, we didn't do too bad. My shirt <laughs> is soaking wet. And that's not rainwater. That's just sweat. It's hot in North Carolina. It is a scorcher out here, but whoo, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It is super, super hot. Woo, it's hot. I walk all day. I move the camera all day. I walk, I walk. <laughs> Tobacco barn. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa, you stuck around to the end. We might as well show you something cool. This is a tobacco barn circa 1918. Inside here is where they used to dry tobacco. It's full of junk right now. That's a tobacco barn. Cool. See you guys in the next video.